Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question is applying the principle of parsimony to the trait ability to fly, which of the two phylogenic trees below is better. And today I want you to ask to watch this video to the end because your gut feeling which answer is correct and which is wrong probably is going to be wrong. So this video is going to be especially interesting to those students who study evolutionary biology or bioinformatics or population genetics, those principle of the parsimony applicable to all sciences. So what this principle is about? This principle is about when you can explain something observed in your laboratory or experiment data with multiple variants, you have to choose the one that is most straightforward with least steps of the explanation. So probably this is going to be the most correct explanation. Let's imagine one situation. You have a dog, you're returning home and you hear a barking of the dog. According to the principle of the parsimony, it would be easier to imagine that this is your own dog who is barking. But it also may happen, for example, that your own dog ran away from home and dog of your neighbor came in in a search of food and now is barking. Is it possible? Yes, it's possible, but this is going to be not the best explanation and not the easiest one that also assumes many additional steps in this explanation. And it's going to be less feasible. In our daily life, all different crazy things may happen, but if we will keep to the principle of the parsimony, we are going to choose the correct answer each time if we would suggest, for example, more complex explanation of the things that we see. Now example from bioinformatics, imagine that we have a stretch of the DNA, single-stranded DNA, and the sequence is going to be A, T, C, G, A, T, C, G, G, A, a, T. So let's assume that the sequence is going to be of the domestic cat and a sequence of the gene, some fragment of the gene. And when we study, for example, close relative of the domestic cat, wild cat, instead of this G, we have A in a sequence. And it would be much easier to suggest that in this place, guanine was replaced with adenine. But also what might happen that guanine, for example, will change to cytosine and cytosine change to thymine and thymine then change to adenine. So here is going to be a sequence of events. Guanine was replaced with cytosine and cytosine with thymine and thymine with adenine. This is how we ended with adenine here. More than that, we can suggest that the thymine will be replaced with cytosine, cytosine with guanine, guanine with adenine, and then back with thymine. We call this reverse mutation. Can be this a case? Yes, it can be, but again, this is not very plausible explanation. And in bioinformatics, if we compare two sequences and they have the same nucleotide in the same place, we assume that mutation doesn't happen in this place. And if mutation did happen, we assume that this happened with the least number of steps. So this is going to be our choice, for example, between these two explanation according to the principle of the parsimony. And here's going to be another example. Every day I'm getting questions about ABO blood group system and people ask me, for example, following question, my father, is blood group O. My mother is blood group O. So the genotype is O, O. And I am, for example, this is going to be a male. So male belong to the blood group A. How is this possible? And according to the same principle of the parsimony, my answer would be that your father is probably not your father. It can be due to number of reasons. For example, your father can marry your mother when she was pregnant or he married her when she already had a child and you don't know. And 
Another explanation would be infidelity of your mother. And the least plausible uh, variant would be the switch of the children in a hospital. These explanations would cover about 99.9 .9 variants. But people still want to hear if there is a genetic explanation of uh, such inheritance. And in this case, I would say, yes, there is a genetic explanation, for example, that your grandmother, when she was pregnant with your mother, your mother had a fraternal sister. And they got of your mother and fraternal sister join. And now your mother is chimeric. She has her own DNA and in germline DNA of her sister, which is not identical. And she may have, uh, for example, blood group A. And you are not a child of your mother, though she gave you a birth, but actually she's your aunt and not your mother. There are also another genetic explanations exist, but they would cover only 0.1%. I also forgot to mention that another possible explanation would be that uh, this person just mistaken about his family blood groups, or sometimes uh, there can be tests that are not sensitive enough, and this is also can be another source of the mistake. So according to the principle of the parsimony, genetic explanation is going to be least possible. Now we can return to our problem, and many of you right away at the beginning of the video know that this Phylogenic tree is more correct than this one because bats are more related to cows than to birds. But according to principle of the parsimony, we have to choose variant of the answer B that tree 1 offers more straightforward answer. So this is not correct phylogenic tree. But again, today we are talking about principle of the parsimony. And from the principle of the parsimony, this would be the best explanation. Because according to the phylogenic tree number one, ability to fly happened here in this ancestor and all descendants just got this feature. And according to phylogenic tree number two, ability to fly happened here three times. So first time here, second time here, and third time here. So this phylogenic tree is going to be more parsimonious than this one. Those, as I said, this phylogenic tree is going to be the correct, but our answer is going to be that phylogenic tree number one is going to be more parsimonious. And this is exactly the question, which phylogenic tree is more parsimonious? Answer B. Again, this is tricky question. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.